Hey guys, we're here in snowy New York City. Have you guys ever watched those movies where the karate geniuses break wooden boards with only their hands and wondered, how do they do that? Well, you don't actually have to be a karate genius to pull this off, and you don't have to have any special spiritual mystical powers either. All you need is science, a little bit of knowledge of biomechanics, just a little bit of physics. Biomechanics is the study of living things that work like machines. So for example, the human body. You have your hand and parts of your arm that are the levers, and then your joints act like fulcrums in a machine. And now knowing how to maximize the fulcrums to give your levers the maximum force is how you're gonna be able to break this board. Now the other important science principle to know when you're trying to break these boards is Newton's laws of motion. That's from physics. And specifically, it's the second and third laws of motion that you're gonna need. Now, the second law of motion states that force equals mass times acceleration. So if you can maximize your acceleration, you're gonna maximize your force. That's why it's important to wind all the way back using all of your fulcrums so that you've got lots of time to build up acceleration. Now, of course, Newton's third law of motion states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction, which is why the most important part of this trick is making sure that your board is nice and braced and that your friends have locked their elbows. If they haven't locked their elbows and they push back as you strike, it will mean that the force is focused on pushing the board back and not in breaking. So are you guys nice and locked, nice and braced? All right, let's give it a go. There you have it. Have you ever broken a wooden board like this maybe in karate class? Let us know your experiences in the comments below.